Hello everyone, welcome to the last Vlogmas episode. Today I'm filming my favorites of the year and I decided to do this because I didn't know what else to really film. I don't plan on vlogging anymore this year. So yeah, I figured I would just round up some things that I've really been loving over the years, over the past year. And because I stopped filming favorites videos just because I'm not really trying many new products and I'm really trying to minimize my spending as far as beauty goes. I've just been trying to use up what I have and still try things if I like need to replace something, that kind of thing. I'm gonna start off with hair because this is only one product and I was using Diva Curl products, but I decided to give Aveda a chance because I saw someone use it. So this is the Aveda Be Curly Curl Enhancer. It intensifies curls, combats frizz, and helps boost shine on curly or wavy hair. And I originally bought this on Amazon and this is 200 ml or 6.7 fluid ounces. And this is around like $26 in store. This has to come off because it's just not working. But now I blend into the background, it's fine. So this works so nicely on my hair. I can use this and just put it all over and that will be the one product that I need. It holds everything and it really definitely combats frizz. And I love the way it feels, it's not sticky, it's very liquidy, so it's not thick. I'm so used to using something thick, like the Diva Curl Coconut Curl Elongator, and that I just got over because my curls are really curly, I don't need to elongate anything. I, I can do the same thing with that product, honestly. So I decided to get this gift set that I found at the actual Aveda store. This was 46 bucks. This was originally like $88 or something, and it comes in this really cute box, and it comes with a be curly style prep shampoo conditioner and a full size of this so i'm really excited because i got all these extra products for around like 20 bucks basically and i'm going to try this line out because i really love that hair product so if you're looking for something different like a one product and go because that's what i like to do i would give this a try <laughs> oh my god all right Let's continue. The fragrance of the year I'd say was the Nest Midnight Fleur. And I have this small roller ball because I like to take it with me. And I just realized as I got it that it's basically empty. And I am trying to use different fragrances. I have a bunch of samples, but this, this doesn't give me a headache. It smells really feminine, but still kind of dark. That's why it's called like Midnight Fleur. It makes complete sense. So I really love this fragrance in particular, but other Nest fragrances are so good just go in the store and smell them because a lot of them are so, so good. Moving on to makeup, the first thing is for the eyes and I've really been loving the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Amethyst and this is an eyeshadow stick, but I don't use eyeshadow sticks all over the eyes. I like to use this on my lower lash line and yes, this was a Perks, I think, from Sephora, like 100 or 200, I don't know, but this has lasted me so long. I don't even know how long I've had this, but I still have a good amount in there. It's just so beautiful. It's a smoky amethyst, like it says, and it's kind of like a taupe, so I think it works really nicely with brown eyes. I just love this product. It's so easy for me to swipe it on, put some like transition color underneath it on my lower lash line, and I'm good. And that's a look. It just helps define my eyes just a little bit without being too much like black or brown eyeliner. For my face, I really dabbled into iridescent blushes, which really, I don't know like how this happened. I just started using my iridescent blushes. I have three of them here. I don't really use NARS Orgasm too much. My favorite one is the NARS Glue, and this was a gift. And when I first got it, to be honest, I wasn't sure because it does have... A, um, a sheen to it and this one by Becca that I'd had for a while I really didn't use it a lot until like this year this is the color flower child and this is a lighter pink so I have three blushes that I like to use I also have one in this Anastasia trio actually and it's more of like an orange but it has more of a sparkle in it not really like a shimmer they, these look like eyeshadows to me and they work so nice on the eyes it's just so easy to tie everything in and if you bring it up higher onto the cheeks which i like to do it looks like like you're cold and i forget what if it's like the agari like put it on your nose it's just such a nice glow 
So loving iridescent blushes and I want more, but I'm not going to buy any more just yet. The last thing for the face is the Fenty Beauty um, Caramel Cutie Sun Stalker. And this is a mini one. This came with a stick and this is 2.8 grams. It's very small, but I do love how small it is. I've had it for a while and I still haven't hit pan. And I like to take a brush like this. This is an elf one, like an angled one. And I can just still get my brush in there. It's great. It doesn't mess things up. It does get around the sides, but whatever. I just love the shade for my skin. I have it on today and I think my lights are making me look like super warm, but that's fine. Um, yeah, I just love this. She really has a great formula, a great shade range. And I've seen a lot of people love these bronzers and I love the packaging as well. It's just super cute. For my lips, I have a basic favorite. This is Max Lip Liner in Bold Blue Bear. And I had this for a while, probably like too long, but this year I started wearing it more and I always thought that this color was too light for me for some reason, but this year I just, I just wear it all the time along with Spice by Milani, but I don't, oh, there it is, this one. I've told you guys about this lip liner. I'm not sure if they have a retractable version, but if they do, I wanna get that. But this one, it's just so good. These two, both nudish colors, they're just perfect. Spice is a bit darker if you don't like going too light and you're my color, but this, it's just, just makes my heart happy you know the next things for my lips i have two of them here they actually came in a set this is pat mcgrath's lip gloss line and it comes with a third one but i'm not sure where it is it's probably in a purse somewhere so these colors in this line um this set it's like in, it comes in this these little um shaker things with the um sequins which i think is kind of wasteful but whatever um, so this is the color Flesh Fantasy. This is Bronze Temptation. Bronze Temptation is definitely my favorite one. It's the only one that has shimmer in it. And these have replaced my Fenty Gloss Balm because I've used both colors, Fussy and Fenty Glow, I think is the other one, but I honestly hate the packaging. Every single time I open that lip gloss, I have to clean off the threads which is really annoying and it's kind of gross so i'm really happy that i found this alternative hopefully the same thing doesn't happen not too bad and it's also just smaller in general and all these shades look so good they feel so good not as slippery as the fenty one but they're still amazing i might buy a full size one day I think so. So those are all of my beauty favorites of 2019. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was super short and to the point and I hope you guys like that. So thank you so much for supporting me, watching my videos and sticking around. I really enjoy making videos and just having fun and sharing my life. It's also a nice little video diary of my life. And I'm really excited for 2020 and excited to use this ring light more because now I have a ring light and I think it looks really nice. So thank you guys for sticking around. I hope you guys have a lovely happy new year with your friends and your family. I hope you're having a magical day so far and I'll see you next year. Bye.